We got our Domino robot. Let's check it out. The big question we're gonna to answer today is can the Domino robot using the IR sensors tracking a tape line drive in the dark? We'll briefly go over the build and any complications I had, as well as all four of the codes that come with the Crunch Labs IDE. After opening the Domino robot box and spreading the parts out, I noticed that one of my electronics was actually broken. There was missing the heat shrink and the solder joint was actually popped off. It was not connected. Now this is a problem because this is the core aspect of the build, the IR sensor, meaning it won't be able to track the line. It will follow one side but not the other. So typically you would send a message to the Crunch Labs team either through the Discord, you can DM one of the team members there or to help at crunchlabs.com to get a replacement part. I happen to have a soldering iron and have done it before so I fixed it myself and was able to get it working. Other thing you want to check for before you put the Arduino on is just making sure the pins are aligned. Last thing you want is one to be bent slightly and when you're trying to press it in you may potentially break it off and you can't use it. I had one of my pins bent. They're easy to fix, you just have to bend it back in line unless you don't notice it and then try and force it into the breadboard and do a lot more damage that way. Let's talk about the four different codes that you get with the Domino robot. The first stock code that comes with the Domino robot is the one that will follow a line and drop the dominoes on the line. Once you end with your dominoes, it will actually stop where it's at and wait for a refill. Then you press the button to reset it and then it will continue to follow the line. Very simple, very basic, and it works quite well. You just have to make sure you have the right tape with the right surface and make sure your wire's in the right spot whether you're using the white tape or the black tape, which does come with the Domino robot. The second one is the auto knockdown. The auto knockdown does the same as the first one, except after it places all the dominoes and the switch is triggered to say that it's dropped them all, it'll actually drive forward, spin around, and then knock them all down. So this could be funny if your friend is playing with it, you get them set up, and then it just knocks them down for the first time. Now make sure you have a big enough surface to make this work, because you can put your tape line on a table and it will follow that perfectly well, but then it needs to drive forward and spin around to knock the dominoes down. The third chunk of code is one that just follows the line. Now this is in the idea of a line following robot where they actually have races, and you can see that in the Mark Rover YouTube video, that you will actually race a line through a maze of tape lines to see how fast you can get through it. So it doesn't drop any dominoes and actually runs a little bit faster following this tape line and you can put a pretty decent sized tape line and it will circle around through it until you tell it to stop. Now this is where I found out that the white tape doesn't work on my dark floor. I put a full circle around, tried it out, and it just ran right over past the line. It didn't even recognize it and then I had to do some testing to only find out that the black tape actually works on my dark floor. So always make sure that you test which tape you need for your floor before you do what I did and waste half a roll of tape on the floor that you end up just pulling up and having to throw away. The fourth chunk of code is using the IR remote. Now this IR remote is from your IR turret, so you end up taking the receiver from your IR turret, disconnecting it, and connecting it to your Domino robot. Now you'll probably need some jumper wires unless you use or sabotage your IR turret. Use some jumper wires to connect to the right spot on your Domino robot. You have the two for the power and then one for the pin, and then once you do that, you are good to go as long as you're in the right spot and it will drive left, right, back and forward and keep up with what your signals are giving it. Now the other thing you can do is you can actually change the speed of how fast you drive. If you press the one and then the two, the one button is a slower speed and two is actually a faster speed. So you can change your speed on how fast you 
will drive. Now, it will actually drop dominoes, I believe, in the first level and in, in the number one, but not in the level two. The one thing I did also slightly run into or notice is that the front section that it drives on, it's not a wheel, it's a rounded nut, and it just drags on it. And every once in a while, my electric tape would catch it and make it stall and prevent it from driving over. So you wanna make sure it is as flat as possible. And if you get some electrical tape that's pretty old or sticky for trying to use something else and may catch on that as transitioning from one side of the tape to the other. The one thing you also will probably end up doing if you do swap them is you'll forget to swap them back if you change the white tape with the black tape or vice versa. To do that, you just change the pins, the blue and the green pins, in a different location. Now, if you forget to change it back, instead of following the tape line, it will actually kick it off the tape line one way or the other based off of which one it sees first. And that's how you know that you've got your lines backwards. It should see it, but it won't follow it. It will actually kick it off the tape line. If you're looking for some hack ideas, make sure you check out the Discord forum. There have been plenty of hacks on the Domino Roma as well as any of the other robots. Check that out. Leave in the comment any hack that you think I should do with the Domino Robot. Now the big one is checking to see that we can actually track a line with the lights completely off. It's pitch black dark and to help see that I actually bought some glow in the dark dominoes from bulkdominoes.com lit them all up, make sure they're working very well, glow in the dark, ran it for the first section with the regular dominoes, added the new ones, and then let it run. And surprisingly enough, it had no problem following the line, which I kind of had a hunch it would after doing the research with the IR turret and how the remotes work with infrared. These infrared sensors send the infrared light and receive it pretty close by. So it's trying to see how reflective the surface is and if it's reflective enough it can get the light back to it so it's providing its own light to see where it's going so it doesn't need the visual visible light that we typically do to find where it's going